Hello students and a very warm welcome to Sora Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on ISS. We will actually in today's tutorial we will not discuss the pattern. We will be solving some sums that has appeared in the last year question papers of this particular exam. In case of any query you can contact us on 9836793076 and for detailed information about our organization institute you can check in our website which is www.sorosurclasses.com now this question which we will be solving appeared in 2016 paper of statistic that is paper 4 this is question number 1d which we will be solving the question says Prove the number of basic variables in a balanced transportation problem is at most m plus n minus 1. Here by m they try to denote the number of origin. So let me write this. And when they say n by n they are trying to denote the number of destinations. So we will be solving this problem. So let's get started. Now before I start, we should know that this particular problem deals with linear programming. Okay, so it is, it is related to this. So with this in mind, let us solve this. So any linear programming must have First, an objective function and this objective function can be minimization of maximization anything and given there is objective function there should be constraints. So since this is this question comes under the purview of linear programming the solution to this problem must involve these two particular things which we have mentioned. Now let's get started. Now let us consider since it is already mentioned a balanced transportation problem so we will consider that. So let us consider the balanced transportation problem okay as minimize z which is equal to summation or double summation c i j and x i j where i runs from 1 to m and j runs from 1 to n. Now z is nothing but the cost of transportation and definitely we want to minimize it. Now I am marking this equation as a. So this is our objective function. Subject to that means now we need to write the const constraints. So it will be summation x i j where again j runs from 1 to n is equal to a i where i is equal to 1 comma 2 and it goes on till m. Now this is I am marking it as b. The next is summation x i j is equal to b j where i is e runs from 1 to m and here j is equal to 1 comma 2 and it goes on till n and marking it as c and the last constraint no the second last constraint will be x i j will be greater than equal to 0 marking it as d and the last constraint is summation a 
i is equal to summation b j here i runs from 1 to m whereas j runs from 1 to n and i'm marking this for my convenience as equation a so in this particular sum we have one constraint so let me change the color one con one objective function which is this so the objective function is given as this which is minimization problem subject to four constraints so let us solve this so what we see given the format that this transportation problem contains m plus n linear constraints with m n variables so this is in additive form and this is multiplicative form now we shall show so let me write we shall show that one of these constraints is redundant and that means it is unnecessary so if we can prove this then we will left with so that there are exactly we will left with m plus n minus 1 independent equations in m into n variables so this is the purpose that this is our purpose this is what we need to prove in this particular case so let's do this so summing the m constraints of b that means of equation b we get something like this it is double summation x i j i runs from 1 to m j runs from 1 to n is equal to summation a i where i runs from 1 to m is equal to summation j runs from 1 to n now this is equal to summation b summation b j where j runs from 1 to n now you must be wondering how i got this this i am getting by equation e which we have already written as constraint so together now let me mark this equation as equation f so marking this as equation f now let me insert one more page now summing the first n minus 1 constraints of equation c we will get the following double summation x i j where i runs from where i runs from just a second i runs from 1 ok let me write first j so j runs from 1 to n minus 1 ok so not n this time and this will be i runs from 1 to m it's o oh, this one will be as it is this is equal to summation b j where j runs from 1 to n minus 1 let us mark this as g following the sequence now we will perform a subtraction what how what we need to do is we will subtract or subtracting 
G from equation F what we what we are gonna get is something like this that means a double summation x i j where i runs from 1 to m j runs from 1 to n minus double summation x i j but this time it will be a little different j runs from 1 to n minus 1 but i is the same runs from 1 to m okay so what we are going to this is the left hand side so the right hand side becomes summation bj minus summation bj in this case j runs from 1 to n and for this j runs from 1 to n minus 1 and this is equal to bn that is the summation i runs from 1 to m bracket open summation x i j minus summation x i j j is it runs from 1 to n j runs from 1 to n minus 1 bracket close this is termed as b n that's why we have substituted here this means that is summation x i n where i runs from 1 to n is equal to bn let us mark this h equation h which is nothing but the last constraint of c let me change the color now so Therefore, we can say H being redundant, that means being unnecessary. So, just tell me, if something becomes unnecessary, what we do? We drop it. So, being redundant, it can be removed from the set of constraints. And so, there are only m plus n minus 1 independent equations with m n variables. Okay, so we see m n becomes greater than m plus n minus 1. Hence, the number of basic variables is at most m plus n minus 1. And this, and with this we have proved the question so if our videos are helpful to you guys then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching